Hey guys, we got a new plugin for you called Splinecaster. It lets you quickly draw splines on the surface of objects in the scene. There's no list of meshes you have to pick. It just does it based on what's visible in the viewport. So to start, you can see my cursor orients to the surface of any underlying mesh. So we'll click our starting point. And then what we need to do is click our end point. And you'll see that the spline orients based on the surface that our second point is aligned to. Now if the spline itself, the preview spline, is in your way, you can hold shift and it'll temporarily hide it. And then once you find your point you like, you can just go ahead and click. And then you'll drag your cursor left or right to adjust the curviness of your path. In this case, we'll do something around here. And then you'll click a third time and that'll commit to that spline shape. So we'll go ahead and do a couple more here to give you an idea of how it works. Um, move this out a little bit so it doesn't intersect that spline. There we go. And then we'll do a couple down here, see what kind of uh, cool effects we get. Um, we'll do this over to here. Maybe we'll do uh, this one down here. And then lastly, we'll take this one all the way up to here. Now we can adjust the curviness to have it inside versus being on the outside of those other two splines down here. So you can see how cool that looks with very minimal work. Now to do that manually would take a little bit more effort to adjust all the curves and stuff. So the second feature we have here is the freehand draw. But the main thing about this one is it gives you the ability to do smooth step. So that allows you to get much smoother uh, lines and it as similar to the draw cable will project onto the surface of whatever is under your cursor. So this lets you very easily and quickly draw all over your scene on objects that you want to project the spline onto. This lets you get really creative with the spline tool and the main feature like I said is smooth. Now if your mesh is not under your cursor, it just projects onto the world grid. Um, and then if your cursor overlaps the mesh, it goes back onto the mesh. So when you're done, you can right click and that creates this line. You'll see it skews because it we're drawing on the grid in that point. But yeah, check it out. And let me know your thoughts. Thanks.